Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you'll return to subscribe as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I want to bring some awareness to some crimes that are going out here, going on out here that a lot of us know about. And uh, it's people, you know, breaking into cars and stuff. When I first seen this a while ago, when I seen, you know, older people doing this, I was like, okay, this is like a crackhead crime. Same as robbing a service station. You know what I mean? But uh, it's more to the story with this. And it's a, it's a motive behind this besides taking change out of your uh, ashtray or like cup holder. They're having a very serious issue out there in the Bay Area, in California. Shout out to the Bay Area where thieves are targeting cars, mainly to see if they're unlocked to get something much more valuable than money. It's the garage uh, opener to your house. And they usually come back or, you know, they'll do it while they're there. Two things bother me. How easy it is for people to steal nowadays and how it's a cool thing to do. And another thing is how people are wearing hot clothes and masks in broad daylight. And you see them coming. And they don't give a shit. I want you to think about that. Take a look at this story. We'll come back and really get on this because I think they need to change laws, start taking people out of here. Look. Have you been hit yet? Hopefully not. The crime spree of thefts and burglaries across several Bay Area cities. In each case, thieves are targeting unlocked cars, looking for garage door openers, and that way to break into your homes. NBC's Valina Jones is in Danville with the latest. Those screams come after a group of masked men were seen scouting and breaking into multiple unlocked cars, stealing garage door openers, and breaking into homes. Uh, they got into the garage. The door going into the house was also unlocked. They went into the house, took her car keys while she was in the house, and attempted to drive her car off the driveway. It happened around 7 in the morning on Blackstone Drive. Jeff Sue lives nearby and says the thieves were heard laughing as they ran away. He and others captured security footage of their neighbor running after the thieves. Now he's coordinating a neighborhood watch. Well, I think now they're getting more and more brazen. They're like, I can do this now. I can target these seemingly safe towns. Mm -hmm. So it's really quite disheartening. But they didn't stop there. Mike Pulowski says minutes later, he caught the three thieves breaking into his garage after stealing his remote from his truck. I'm a football player, so my reaction was to go to it. Uh, and so I did. I started chasing them out of the garage, and they went running out of the garage. The suspects got away with Pulowski's hunting knives in a white Honda. Pulowski credits Dublin PD for responding immediately. He says law enforcement pursued the suspects, but had to stop when they reached a nearby city with a no-chase policy. It makes you feel vulnerable in your house. You know, it makes you feel unsafe. And, and if we're not going to have consequences for people's actions like this, then we're going to keep getting more actions like this. You train bad behavior. Danville police say at least five garages and eight cars were broken into, including a majority that were left unlocked. Earlier this month, Moraga police issued a warning as they continue to look for a group they say is responsible for at least 15 thefts and burglaries using the same tactics. Meanwhile, Palo Alto police arrested two out of three suspects Tuesday. They believe are responsible for breaking into a garage in the same way and stealing two cars. Neighbors back in Danville say the crime spree is causing them to change their habits. Probably I need to be more careful. Um, generally, I don't lock my car a lot. And um, I think uh, living in Danville, it's, you know, there's a sense of, safety here. A majority of these crimes all happened around 7 a.m. While Danville police have not commented on if they believe they are connected, Palo Alto PD tells me they're talking to other agencies to determine if their investigations are related. Reporting in Danville, Valina Jones, NBC Bay Area News. Guys, you've seen the footage of that and it's very hard to watch. These are young people doing this. Could be anything they want to be, but they choose to be thieves. It's cool to steal. We gotta get ours. Ain't nothing on that fucking street in that neighborhood belonging to you. They're driving these quiet neighborhoods now and causing all kind of hell. That in itself is sinful. I said it before, we need different uh, punishments for this type of bullshit. 
whether it's chopping hands off or, or, or just exiling people. We're just getting them out of here. These people are willfully doing this. It said they were laughing when they were doing it. What's fucking with that? They're laughing when they were doing it. It's a new type of insanity out here and it's treated as normalcy because we see this on the news all the time. A lot of people get to where they get desensitized to it because it hasn't happened to them or their neighborhood. All the while, this type of uh, crazy behavior is growing at an alarming rate. And a lot of times it don't affect you until it affects you. When they, told, when they, when they took Tony's rims off her car when she just got here in the middle of the night, it bothered me. Had, I couldn't tell the insurance company. So I had to go out there and get the uh, in, uh, thing because I didn't want my rate to go up. I mean, want her rate to go up. Went and got rims, went out there and bought rims out of my own pocket, right? Because somebody stole factory rims off a car. Went and got rims out, out of my own pocket, used my credit, had to pay for it. They made a good day. Those thieves that did that out of fucking up our day. That's unacceptable. Especially when you don't bother nobody and you stick to yourself. There are people out here that will take stuff and laugh and joke because they can't believe how easy it is and there's no threat against them. After they did that, I stayed out there for two weeks. You can ask Tony next time she's on here for two weeks, sitting up there waiting for him to come back. Because I'm telling you, people have a right to defend what's theirs. We pay taxes and all of that stuff and, and property and things like that. We doing what we supposed to do as American citizens to make America keep running. These motherfuckers are not. And it ain't nobody fault but theirs. I don't want to hear I ain't have nothing. I, I this, I that. Nowadays, it's the fun thing to do. And nothing affects them. Because they're working on affecting other people with the devilishment they do. People need to start putting hot shit in their fucking asses and, and getting them out of here. Maybe they'll see things a little bit differently. It's a damn shame you work your ass off to get something, which is a sense of accomplishment. Once you get to where you want to be in acquiring such goods and services or whatever. Only to have somebody come that don't know you or your situation and take it away from you. And then you got to go tell a bunch of strangers to go handle it and you don't never get the real justice or the items that they stole back from you. Or your sense of security in your own fucking home. That's why I talk the way I talk. A lot of people need to get the fuck out of here. You bring problems to me. Bring problems to other people. Problems need to be brought to you. That stuff will never be recovered. Sense of safety will never be recovered. When you're home, you're supposed to feel like you know you're at peace. You have, sa you have safety. Said guys ran up in the, through the garage and came in through the house. While it was people in the house. This could have been real bad. Like a lot of other stories I did that wound up being bad like that. I don't care who's raising this type of person or what color they are. The crime is the crime and the punishment need to be just. And no mean locking somebody to fuck up after they didn't just ruin your life. And your experience of living in your own damn house. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.